common across people? Does that mean we could put our colleague, associate producer Jamie Woods, into a scanner for the first time and Dr. Justine would be able to identify her emotions? So she's seeing words. For nine seconds each, Jamie's job was to think of little scenarios that would conjure up the feelings on the screen. After she came out... Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. How a computer program took the brain activation data gathered by the scanner and tried to decode her thoughts. So what were you thinking about for disgust? <laughs> I was thinking of someone throwing up on me at like a baseball game. And so could the computer read her brain patterns and tell what she'd been feeling? The program's answer is, I think the emotion is disgust. The experienced emotion was actually disgust. That was correct. Awesome. Next. I think the emotion is envy. What were you thinking for envy? I was just thinking of beautiful models. On the computer the program papers. got all of Jamie's emotions right. It's reading what Jamie's feeling. And it's funny, isn't it? Because it's so personal. We all think of our own thoughts as so individual, so intimate. How could anybody else's thoughts be like mine? And they are.